All right, let's move on to the next fragrance, Gaia. Many people love this fragrance because it's 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 um, more immediately likable. This is not as polarizing or as complex as the first scent. This is something which is uh, very refreshing, but at the same time, same time quite unique. The ingredients are beautifully placed together in a composition which is uh, more unisex. It's more acceptable, and uh, uh, it's something done with. A lighter hand I would say so this is how the fragrance looks like it's quite light you can see beautiful notes in here let me read out the story first Gaia aka Gaia basically it's just mother earth the goddess mother earth this beautiful home we walk upon filled with life and wonder from the leaves of the tree to the soil on the crown the blooming flowers fruit and honey from the bees we are connected and created out of the same earth, a network of unity, balance, harmony and diversity is the nature of the earth. A beautiful looking bottle there, it comes in white, what a beautiful choice of color, uh, such a great concept and I can tell you, you can smell the concept that Peter has here in his brain through this composition. That's what I really appreciate about this guy or any perfumer, you know, who's, who's worthy of being called an artisan. Uh, this is fantastic because you actually get these notes out of this fragrance. I wore this fragrance today. It's longer lasting than the first one. The first one is already quite potent. It will easily last you um, anywhere between 8 to, to 14 hours, maybe more. I just have a small sample so I cannot really uh, have the full have the luxury of applying it leniently as you would from your full bottles. Of course, the spritz is going to be bigger, uh, the cloud is going to be bigger, so you'll have more liquid on you. That's going to give you better longevity. From the sample, I can easily tell this is a very long lasting fragrance, but Gaia really beats it in the longevity department. Gaia, uh, Gaia I can still smell it on my forearms and I applied it uh, during the day before leaving for work. Green leaves, dry earth, honey, tube rose, rose, lavender. Both of these fragrances uh, have rose, but none of these fragrances will actually smell of rose. That's such a wonderful thing. There's lavender, orris butter, there's heaps of orris butter, one of the most expensive materials that I absolutely adore, uh, especially in the creations of Sultan Pasha. There's heaps of it and it's such a lovely bitter uh, a creamy sort of accord, really enjoyable. It has a sweetness of its own and combined with honey, it can be beautiful and you can really feel this effect in this perfume. And there's apple, there's cedar wood, very strange composition, uh, uh, combination, sorry. There's wormwood, patchouli. Uh, wormwood is something which has a spicy character. Soapy, spicy, think about stuff like amouage reflection, but nothing of that sort you know, you don't feel those soapy accords in this perfume at all. This fragrance is, uh, you know, on a scale from uh, 0 to 10, this would be minus 10. There is no soapiness to this fragrance. There is no detergent-like quality. Wormwood is used to produce absinthe, so it is a spicy material. It's a fantastic scent on its own, but really um, can, can be polarizing, but nothing of that sort here. There's patchouli, ambergris. So both of these fragrances are rich in ambergris. As I said, ambergris is a fantastic fixative. So um, it helps the fragrance to stay natural, won't be sharp. You don't feel those, uh, you know, you, you don't feel the, abras the abrasiveness of uh, synthetic amplifiers or fixatives. It's a beautiful thing. Let me spray Gaia on my hand. I remember this scent has such a lovely opening, beautiful. My God, this is absolutely gorgeous and incredible opening, incredible, incredible, splendid. The use of materials, the combination. I mean, this guy is working from here and then he's putting, uh, you know, you know, stuff into uh, uh, the mixture because these materials are very expensive and you just cannot play around so he has taken a risk and he's done fantastic work here absolutely incredible this is immediately likable and i feel most of the people will lean towards this this fragrance immediately as i said because this has uh, an instant appeal straight away you can feel the cloudy chalky nature of the ambergris at the top beautiful tuberose vegetal rich, creamy, 
uh, it's not sharp at all. So just the right dose of tuberose because it is something which is quite overwhelming. Tuberose absolute is intoxicating, but at the same time, it's quite overwhelming in a composition. It can really overpower the rest of the things. And that's what, that's what, you know, that's a rookie mistake with which most artisanal perfumers make. Peter hasn't done that. Congratulations, buddy. You've absolutely nailed it. Oris butter, immediately heaps of it. A slight resemblance to powdery uh, fragrances, especially feminine fragrances, rich fragrances. We are talking about Gailan's Mitsuko, something like that. Beautiful creaminess. There's a velvetiness to this fragrance. You can feel it's like a fresh spring. You can feel there is a sweetness lingering around in the background. Absolutely glorious. What a beautiful composition this is. And this scent actually evolves because as the scent dries down on your skin, the honey becomes more prominent. And this honey is not something which is an impression of honey. It has actual smell of honey. This is, if you love honey, I love honey, you'll actually be able to smell it. But don't worry guys, this is not overly sweet. It's not going to disturb the experience. It is a beautiful touch and it comes slowly. Again, slow transition. Thank you, Ambergris. Thank you, Nature. Slow transitions. There is a waxy feel that you get from Arish Ladores Kohinoor that we co-created. I, mean, I and Adam co-created. Beautiful fragrance that Adam created. I was just uh, someone who approved it, kind of. Not that it really required an approval, approval from me. But it was a beautiful project that we worked on, proud of it. This will give you the sweetness and the waxy honey structure, almost like beeswax. Of course, nature will have, uh, will, nature will leave its imprint everywhere in its materials. Lovely, lovely fragrance. And as the scent dries down, quite late into its development, you will get the sweetness of honey you'll get a slight uh, muskiness as well, quite strange, but it comes quite late. It has a slightly leathery feel, tan leather feel to it. But just the gentle hints. I don't think it's an intended accord. It, it, it just may be a reflection of the oud used here. And uh, I think it's a sweeter oud. It's not one of those dark uh, kind of ouds. It may be a combination of two ouds because the soil effect might come from the use of a Maroki oud or uh, something like a rich Vietnamese oud. Those kind of ouds have a soily feel. Those are lovely, but you have you have to have the patience to be actually be enjoying them. You might just give up right in the middle when it starts to beautify. So great composition. Peter has has done fantastic work and this 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 guy needs to be appreciated. This is a fragrance. I mean, I would buy both these fragrances, both these fragrances if I had the choice. And um, this is a lovely scent. This is a proper unisex scent that most people will like. It is simple, but it is not so simple. It has, it has all the beautiful elements from the 60s, powdery uh, sort of fragrances, rich, soft musk, a layer of musk um, and that uh, that chalky cloudy effect coming from ambergris. So everything is just perfect. I haven't sniffed a perfume which was as beautiful as this. A, a sweet perfume, let's say in the last five years, I'll be honest. Oris, Oris Butter just takes it to a whole new level. Oris is a fantastic, fantastic scent, but none of the people know how to use light, uh, utilize it properly. I've had a beautiful Oris uh, scent from Sultan Pasha. He knows how to work with it. Uh, Peter now knows how to work with it. So we've got two talented perfumers. I've never had an Oris butter perfume, Oris butter containing perfume from uh, Arish Lodore, Russian Adam. He could work on it and he can do wonders. This scent also has the dustiness that you get from a scent like Antiquity. I cannot believe how many uh, accords I can smell, you know, intended, unintended. This is just flowing, beautiful heaps of information. It's like my nose is picking up all the information. Yeah, unwanted information, but I'm loving it. It's it's not, it's not uh, killing my nose. 
it's a strong perfume and you can see I'm breathing it in continuously because if it was a designer perfume or a sharp synthetic agent, I would have already given up by now. But this has such a natural feel. Excellent composition, beautiful. Now, if I had to rate this fragrance, I'll rate it. Uh, how much should I rate it? Because I am very, uh, uh, you know, thorough with this fragrance already. I've worn this fragrance today, so I know the dry down. I would give this fragrance an easy uh, 9.5 out of 10. And I don't know if I've given a fragrance 9.5, uh, but this is just lovely. This is perfection, at least for me. This might not be something that you like, but to my humble nose, this is absolutely fantastic. So I congratulate Peter for this. I really wasn't expecting um, this much from Gaia, but it has completely bowled me. Both of these fragrances will not have a beast-like projection. And that's what is expected from an all-natural composition. And that's what I personally like because I don't want my a fragrance to force itself on other people's noses. It's, it should be a gentle affair. It should pull people in. Your magnetism shouldn't be too intoxicating, you know. It should not be too um, intimidating. So this will have a soft aura around you, a beautiful scent bubble around you. And if someone, um, you know, just happens to cross, they'll immediately catch the whiffs of these fragrances. They'll be impressed they'll they'll uh, you know uh, these fragrances are so mysterious in nature they are so unique in flavor anyone will be impressed by these fragrances but this one is something that you can wear to parties the gaia you cannot dream of wearing scents like dendera because of that mer only if peter had you know you know uh, controlled uh, uh, you know, Mur, if he was successful in controlling the beast-like uh, mushroominess of Mur in Dendera, this would be um, this would be almost perfect. So I think I'll pull out 0.5 out of this end now. I'll, the final score for Dendera would be 8.5. This mer is a little too much, and I hope you don't mind my um, interference, Peter. But I hope uh, my criticism helps you grow uh, into an even better perfumer. Gaia is much more balanced. It is more perfumey in nature. This one is art. This one is Van Gogh. This one is a nice anatomical portrait. Um, immediately likable but of course it holds a beautiful story behind it from Leonardo da Vinci something like Mona Lisa immediately likable relatable but if you stand there stare there if you have someone from the department of arts who can explain you that painting then you will realize how beautifully these guys work how their minds work layers upon layers stories to tell so many tiny informations trapped here and there all the all the fine details that you could not actually see or interpret you know on the first viewing so it's all that and it's already a very long review i will close the chapter here lots of ex exciting stuff coming up by the way guys emperor hind very excited to bring you a review dikshit and zach they've done a fantastic scent this has to be discussed and finally i find my bottle of juraya from sultan pasha i had lost it uh, back from the holiday opened my cupboard, was going through my shirts and this fell out. So it's crazy, but luckily we have it back for discussion. So this was my review of detailed review, first impressions. I don't know if you've ever uh, uh, got such detailed first impressions uh, from me before, but Centauri Perfumes, absolutely loved your creations, Peter. Thank you once again for this beautiful experience. And I hope everyone who's watching this video has already got their samples. I would love to hear your remarks as well. Um, and I'm hoping a lot of interesting comments will come. So see you guys in another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.